Hello everyone, Mike Levin, SEO here. And this video will be a little different because I've already done the changes. I'm just going to show you what they were. First of all, it's going to be just about the last time you see this arrangement because after this video, everything will be bookmarklet based and I'll be working off of full screen browser windows and just clicking a bookmarklet. So I needed to pre-populate this form with whatever was showing when you clicked the bookmarklet. And I had to piece a few things together. First, if there were uh, arguments on the URL, which there are, you can get to them through request args get. And uh, that's great, but the problem I encountered is that up where the form is built, def, uh, let's see, what was that? Just, let's do control back class pip form, not def, but class. I'm creating the form here, and this is where you normally put the default values in. I could say default equals foo. In fact, I could demonstrate that right here. I could go default equals foo, and I can save that. The server will restart, and then when I do a refresh, you'll see foo fill in here. So why couldn't I just grab the query string and fill it in uh, using it that way? Well, the answer is I could not. There's our foo. Uh, because I can't use the request object up here. It's out of context. It's not available. So I had to find another way to do it. So what I did is uh, I, I continued researching uh, as to how to populate the equivalent of default data elsewhere. And it turns out this form object that I'm returning to build the uh, page can uh, be manipulated uh, right beforehand. And whereas I got this information from uh, Stack Overflow, I got this information from Stack Overflow. And someone was asking, how do I uh, fill in uh, data? Uh, and pretty much it's in their question form uh, field name dot data equals something. So I decided if request args, which is very Pythonic, that means args have been set or something there, then form field name data equals request args get you. And that's it. The end result of that now, it already undid that last thing and saved, so this server will be stopped and restarted now. Notice the URL here. We hit Piculate. Voila, it's filled in. And I haven't really done it yet, but there is no reason in the world why I couldn't minimize this, go over here, grab this guy, bring him out here, make it go full screen, replace our question marks, and this is really where we're headed, and this is the, the first time I'm, I'm, I'm even doing this, to tell you the truth. There's our pipulate. Hit it. It brings up our form pre-populated. Now this kind of went weird. I'm not sure what's going on there. But this is all part of that debugging. That was strange a little bit. Uh, or troublesome, but at any rate, now that it's finished displaying, I hit pipulate. Now that first one might have actually just, no, no, I took it, there, it ran it, bam. We are well on our way to the next generation of this product. And uh, just as I imagined, we can arrange this like this. Now if you were doing rapid experimentation, you could just change stuff. And I didn't get to all the things today that I wanted to, like all that uh, trending and uh, screen scraping uh, definitions or how to define a screen scrape. But I do have this, and that's nice too. 
I think I need a little bit more user feedback that something has been clicked. That's part of the price of turning off Ajax in order to keep this field working. But that is a huge step forward today. People following this online can actually download this and start using it. And I think just about the last difficult thing is to pickle your uh, Google credentials onto your hard drive. But I have a perfect place now for that. And this is where the bookmark lid is given out. And almost everything is falling into place. And all that other crazy stuff you'll be able to do, like crawls and tweet capture, I have a place now to help start defining those things so I can keep the user interface for the most part simple and straightforward until such time as you need to configure it or do fancier stuff. Thanks for joining me on my Coding Friday and I uh, hope to talk to you soon and don't forget to subscribe.